Good morning and welcome to another van conversion vlog. You're seeing something that you can't see quite often today. Nicholas is cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so little update. There's a lot of stuff that arrived actually for us. One, the water tanks arrived, so the fresh water tank, the gray water tank that will go underneath the van. And then another cool thing that arrived are walls. So this is like flexible plywood that we will apply on the ceiling and on the walls. So yeah, that will be for a later stadium because first we need to do the wiring. The first thing we're going to do, Nicholas is going to check if the water tanks fit underneath the car. And then we're going to shop for some wiring talking and about shopping guys just bought this new lilac sweater just to give you guys some more color in our vlogs <laughs> by the way i noticed that a lot of you haven't subscribed yet so if you haven't smash that subscribe button first it would mean a lot to us thank you guys <laughs> Okay, so before we start working today, we decided to clean everything up a little because it is a huge mess. Yeah. It is very, very dusty inside. So I've been cleaning up a little bit already and this is all the dust I gathered. And now we're gonna clean this up as well and then we'll start working. Okay, so cleaning is done. Well, it's not very clean, but it's a bit more organized than it was. So now we're going to unpack the water tanks, move the van, see if they fit. And then we're gonna go shopping for wiring. <laughs> I get amped up. So this is one of our water tanks. We went for underslung water tanks, so these will go outside of the van on the bottom of the chassis. So we went for that option because we really wanted to save space inside the van. We just tried to put everything outside as much as possible, like the gas tank, the water tank, the gray water tank, because that way we have more space in the van to put Close. Outfits. <laughs> <laughs> so for both our freshwater tank and our wastewater tank, we decided to go for exactly the same size. It's 51 liters. I don't know how many gallons that is. We just thought it was easy, you know? You fill up your freshwater tank. Once that is completely empty, you know that your waste tank is completely full, and then you just do the opposite. So these water tanks are actually made specifically for this car. So it should fit the chassis underneath really well, but I don't know, we ordered them in the UK, so they drive on the other side of the road, so maybe they'll fit, maybe they won't. Let's find out, babe. Let's find out. Nicholas is going under the van, which is not a nice task to do. So we just had a look under the car and the water tanks seem to fit. Um, the thing is, there's not much height to work with. So we're gonna try and find a place where we can work under the car or find a way to lift the car a little bit, but just like this. It's just it's it, almost it, impossible. It's so the plan right now is to go shopping. We're gonna buy some wiring. We've been putting this off for a very, very long time because we don't want to do it, but we have to. The time has come, so let's go shopping. Morning! It's a snowy day today. Look at this. There's literally so much snow everywhere. God. By the way, we haven't been vlogging for the last few days. We'll explain you later. But first, we need to make sure that we can start driving with little Herbie. Okay, so time for a little explanation as promised. So the last few days, we did not really vlog anything because one, Nicholas became godfather. Yay! His sister had a baby. And then the second part, we had some trouble with finding the right cables for the wiring. So we went to a couple of stores. Neither of them had what we wanted, so we had to order it online, but it was the weekend. So we are still waiting for our electric cables. They should arrive in the exactly. next few days. But in the meantime, we haven't been able to do a lot. Then we have other news as well. This weekend, some of Nicholas' old friends contacted us and said, oh, I actually have a place where you can work on the van, which is literally five minutes from our home. So instead of driving 30 minutes, no, instead of driving one hour each day, now it will only be like driving 20 minutes each day. So which, we're moving. Exactly, it will save us on gas, save us Time. So we're moving, so today is moving day and we're going to work in another place. So we're picking up all our stuff at yeah. our old place and we will drive it to the new place. That's the plan for and today. we're gonna do that now.
Okay guys, so with a van full of stuff, it is now time to go to our next place. We cleaned everything up, everything is neat and tidy. Let's and it's go! It's time to move! Yay. Let's do this! <laughs> we have arrived at our new destination. We are settling in right now. It's a bit smaller. Well, the place we have available is a much smaller than the previous place we were at. But, I mean, it's so close to home, we just couldn't resist. Hey guys, welcome Hi, back. Welcome back. We haven't worked on the van for a full week. But we had a good reason because my sister just got a baby. So we went to see the baby and we took some pictures of the baby. And she's so cute. She's the cutest ever. I'll insert some pictures right here, here and here. Anyway, we are going to start wiring right now. So that's the plan for the next few days. That's going to take a lot of time. We and had it's to stressing wait. me out. We had to wait a week for the wiring to arrive. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why we took a big break. Right? Yes. Yay, okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, so before we get to work, we're gonna quickly explain what we're going to do. So we got a box full of cables from a different thickness. So depending on the appliance that will be that will be running, it requires a thicker or a thinner cable. We're gonna put this flexible conduit. Um, we're gonna put that from where our batteries will be. So right here under our bed. And we're gonna run that to where our appliances need to be. And then we will put the red and black cables, so the positives and the negatives, in that conduit. Why we're doing that is one, is because this conduit will protect the cables from being damaged. Thing is, exactly. you have a couple of very sharp edges in a van and with all the vibrations, if a cable is against this and runs against this for a long period of time, it will eventually break and our van will explode. What? That's what they told us on YouTube. You know, this stuff is freaking me out, like all this electrics. We shouldn't do this ourselves. Maybe. No, we're gonna do the pre-wiring and then we're gonna have a certified electronic or electrician. <laughs> <laughs> certified electronic one? A certified electrician connect everything. Yeah. So if something goes wrong, he gets electrocuted and we won't. We have no idea how to do this, but we're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. Let's go. So as you can see, there are already a couple of cables inside the van, but those are for the lights and everything. And the manufacturer also used conduit, which you can see here. So I guess it's just the right thing to do, you know? If Peugeot does it, we should do it as well. Yeah, it's true. This is the plan we made with all the wire. Okay, so this is the plan we made with all the wiring. As you can see, it's only red cables here, but where there's a red, there should also be a black one. We're gonna try and replicate this. The only problem is we decided yesterday to change our layout a little bit. We were going to put the fridge right there next to the sliding door, and we decided to put it right here next to the bed instead. So we just have to figure out real quickly how we have to change that wire. I don't think that will be a big problem. It will just be a shorter cable from our battery. Okay, so the first thing we did, we ran all this conduit all the way around our back doors actually. And it goes all the way through there. So now we're going to try and run a wire through it and see if that works. Um, because this was already quite a struggle to be honest. So this will be for the lights. So here is going to be a switch. There's going to be two lights right here and one light right here. So that will be all on um, the same circuit, right? I think so. Yay! I think so. I'm like, I'm trying to explain and sound so convinced, but I actually have no idea what we're doing, but... We'll see. Okay guys, so we just managed to get our first cable in. So and it's already dark. <laughs> as you can see or may not see, this Yay! is our first cable. It took us like 45 minutes to get the cable through. It was much more difficult than expected. But now we're just going to continue and try to pull another table. Another table? What? And try to run another cable through, <laughs> through the this. same conduit. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's getting super dark. So I guess we'll just like stop vlogging and then tomorrow we'll take you guys with us on the rest of the wiring. Good morning, guys. So yesterday our battery died. So I don't think we finished our vlogging day good. 
To be um, honest, we didn't do much else than what you saw on video yesterday no. because it was so cold, so we decided to call it quits. And, and it was getting dark as well, but anyway, now we are back at our working space indoors. It's still super cold, but it's okay. It's doable. They're going to continue with the wiring, so Nicholas actually already started. Good job, babe. So yes, yeah, so we're going to continue and wire the van all day wish is luck so it's been quite a pain actually to run these wires through that conjo it's been a bit of a struggle but it seems to work all right guys we're a couple hours later we've done a couple wires in the meantime had some nice and warm soup and it's so much tougher than it looks but i think we'll get there laura feels good She's in a good mood. It's Valentine's Day, of course I Yay. am. Yay, this is so much better than a fancy dinner with candles and roses. Is it? It's uh, ice cold, it's a big struggle. But once the van's finished, we'll be happy. We'll have lots of cozy dinners together. Yes, we will. As you can see, we already ran quite some cables and I'll just give you, we'll try to give you a quick explanation. We're labeling everything on both sides, on the side of the batteries and on the side of the appliances. So in the beginning, it looks pretty easy to remember but after a while you just like start running all these cables and you get more and more cables and you forget <laughs> oh, yeah. which one is this for is this for a light is this for a switch is yeah. this for whatever so we put some blue labels and write down what's going to come on there so as you can see we have red and black cables this is our 12 volt system yes. um so one's a positive one's a negative but That's then right. we also have gray cables yeah, gray and cables. this is 230 volt so we will run our sockets on that exactly that Sockets? I think so I think so babe. all right so we are finished with working on the wiring for today the reason why is we still have some thicker cables but unfortunately our conduit isn't thick enough so the cables are actually too thick to go inside this so we'll have to go to the store and it's a Sunday and all the stores are closed so we will do that tomorrow morning we're gonna work on the bulkhead a little because we started that two weeks ago and then we stopped so as you can see the framing is almost done but now we did a couple changes when it comes to where our fridge is going to be and where our escape hatch is going to be <laughs> and Laura decided to put the escape hatch somewhere else yeah above my seat well above the passenger seat because where the escape hatch originally was planned she wanted to put a mirror and the light because it was above over the, the sink, sink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we that wasn't an changes. option so we made some changes Changes, so we're gonna do some modifications now and then we're gonna call it a night and then we're gonna go have dinner at Nicholas's mommy. mommy we're spending Valentine's Day with her because she's alone and thought it would be nice to spend some time together yes. Good morning, you Good guys. Morning. It's another day, another van conversion day. We already went to the store today to buy some more electric wiring and we're just gonna get right into it. Just put that wiring in. Yay, hopefully we'll finish the wiring today and then we'll start finishing the bulkhead. Well, actually placing the bulkhead. I feel like we can do it. We can do it. Like today we'll finish the wiring. Yes, we have to. And the bulkhead? No, <laughs> I don't think we'll manage to do that. Spend the money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on. Mm -hmm. Pop a bottle, about to make it rain. Let me give you something now to celebrate. Come on. Mm -hmm. And if you want. Okay, so I think we kind of finished with the wiring. So we, happy that's done. Yeah, so we did most of it. There's a lot of wires everywhere. Now we're going to start with the bulkhead. So we made a few changes right here because we changed my little escape hatch. And now we're going to cut out the bulkhead. So that's like a bit of a struggle because no wall is straight in a van. <laughs> Which we're very used to right now. So we just took all the measurements. We took a large plywood <laughs> yeah. thingy. Um, we drew the shape of the bulkhead on it. Yeah. And, uh, we're just gonna cut it out and hopefully it fits. Let's do it, let's get let's that jigsaw. It. When my head is full of questions, the sky is full of rain when 
I'm worrying about what I can't change. I take a look at my reflection and try to make a fun. Okay, so we just cut what should be piece number one of the bulkhead. Oh. Let's go and have a look, see if it fits. Oh, imagine if we cut it too small. Then we're screwed. Then we're really screwed. We can just live inside this moment. You and I get through the dark. Okay, we just did the first fitting and just one corner is slightly too big, so we're gonna shave that off. Yes. And then hopefully it will fit. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so before we can screw the bulkhead in place, we still need to put some insulation on these sides right here. So that way everything will be nice and insulated and it'll be nice and toasty in here. Nice and toasty. Once we have our heating system, which should arrive next week. So Laura's just doing all these little nooks and crannies, or I don't know how you call it. Do you know how, that, how that's called? Crooks and nannies? I have no idea. Nans and Crookies? I don't know. Me Seriously. either. I heard it on TV once. And <laughs> not a fun job, but someone has to do it. And that person is Laura! Oh my god. Okay guys, first part of the bulkhead is done. Completely done. Screwed it. Everything. <laughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to do the second part of the bulkhead. We're just gonna put some wooden slats on top like this so we can attach the plywood to it as well. And Laura's doing that right now. She's a little cutter. Okay, so we just cleaned everything up. We're ready to go home. So we're happy that we finished the wiring. We obviously still need to insulate all of this. And then we need to continue with the bulkhead and yeah. Ready to go home. Good morning guys. Welcome to another day of van conversion. The plan for today, we are going to try and insulate all the places that weren't insulated yet. So all the white needs to go. Yeah, we had to leave that open to run the wiring, but now that that's done, we can finally insulate the whole van. And then the second task of today is we're going to build the wheel cases. So there's going to be like plywood that goes over it. Um, and I guess that's the main task today. Nicholas is also going to make sure that all the wiring runs nicely and is nicely attached or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. Okay, Nicholas let's... Nicholas' job doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, and also, we also really need to insulate that part because we're going to use it as a closet, but still, it needs to be insulated. <laughs> let's do this, babe! Yay! Okay, Nicholas is not really happy today. Okay, so while Laura is continuing the insulation, I'm gonna try and start building um, the cases for the wheel wells. Laura is gonna be mad at me because I'm probably gonna fuck up. Oh, you're gonna do great, babe. I hope so. <laughs> we always have these little discussions, like she thinks we should do it one way and then I think we should do it another way. And then in the end, nobody really wins. But I'm gonna try and prove her wrong and I'm gonna do it my way and hopefully it will work out. So let's see. Okay guys, so I've been working on the case for the wheel well. Um, it's going quite well. Unfortunately, Laura and I just realized that we need to build the bed frame first before we can attach the wheel case. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise it won't really work out. So we have to change plans. We're going to start installing a little bit of the beginning of the bed frame. And then hopefully we can continue with the wheel cases. <sighs> change of plans. Good morning, guys. We are ready for another day of van conversion. I'm First thing, so cold. Laura is cold again. First thing we're going to do today is install one more cable, one more electric cable, because yesterday evening we decided to buy a water heater that is working both on gas and on electricity. Originally, the plan was to just go for the gas version, but then we said, hey, why not? Let's do electric as well. So we have to install one more cable. And then after that, we're going to work on the bed frame. We went to the store this morning and bought a box full of these heavy ass screws.
screws. So hopefully, because we had some problems securing uh, the frame to our van yesterday. So hopefully that will be the remedy and we'll manage to do that. So stay tuned and wish us luck. First things first, we're going to try and put the cable in the conduit, which is quite difficult because it's a very long cable, but we'll make it work. Okay, so we managed to pull the cable through the conduit. Now we're going to place the conduit in the beams of our, of our van and run it across it to the place where it needs to go. Let's do this. Okay, so we managed to get the cable and the conduit completely through. It went that way till there. And now Laura is gonna label both ends and write down what the cable is for so we don't forget because with all the cables here, it's pretty difficult to keep an eye on which cable is for which appliance. But thanks to Laura's immaculate labeling skills, wow. that's not a problem anymore. Water pump. It's official, the yeah. wiring is done. Okay, so now we're going to try and attach the bed frame. These are the screws that we will be using. As you can see right here, this camera focuses really nicely. So this is actually a self-drilling screw, so no need to pre-drill in the wood or in the metal. And then on the other side, we have, I don't know how you call it. Apparently this works better, so we'll see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Okay, so this is not going very smoothly. We're getting there, and I'm just watching Nicholas drinking my hot chocolate. Good job, babe. <laughs> Okay, so I finally managed to attach that wooden slat to our van. Laura, in the meantime, is doing some more insulation. We're gonna try and do this side now, and then we can finally start building the wheel wells. This has been a very tiring day so far. Okay, so both sides of the bed frame are in, so that's already a good beginning. Okay, Nicholas is sawing, sorry. Sorry for the noise. Okay. So next we're going to place the wheel cases and then we can start placing the legs for the bed as well. Ladies and gentlemen, attention please, about to start the show, better take your seats. Okay guys, so Nicholas made this wheel case, so now we're going to attach it, finally. So we need to do way more than we thought to attach those wheel cases, but anyway, let's do it! It's time to let the curtain rise, we're gonna shake the room, we're gonna all night. Hey guys, that is it for today. We made some minor adjustments to the wheel well. Laura actually came up with this ID and it worked out really well. It wasn't super sturdy after I made it, but now it's like, if you pull this, the whole van moves. So I guess that's a good thing. Right now we're going to clean everything up. And then after that, we'll just go home and watch Big Little Lies, Little Big Lies. Yeah, it's our new, new series. It's our new addiction. Watching. Anyways. Tomorrow, hopefully we can finally, because I feel like we've been telling this for a very long time, we can finally finish those wheel covers that that's done. They're looking good though. Just I'll put be... some plywood on it and it's done. Mm. And then we do the other side. So that will be for tomorrow. Now it's time yeah. for cleaning up. Good morning. Good morning. We are nice and fresh. Well, absolutely not. What? I'm super tired, I think. Are you tired, babe? Yes, I am. So working on the van has been really tiring. It has been taking its toll on us. <laughs> if I look at my face, it's like... Ah, uh, it's like a van drove on top of it. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're so nice. Okay, no, honestly, it's been super tiring, but it will all be worth it. Oh, I'll be worth it. No, okay, so the plan for today, we, uh, Nicholas just went to the store to buy some screws. I forgot my mask, so I could not join him in the store. Oh, poor babe. Poor babe, She's I had so to sad, wait. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the plan for today, uh, I can't even hold this camera anymore because my arms are just so sore from working on the van and I literally need to hold it with my other arm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's how we get behaved. Okay, anyway, no, the plan for today, we are going to finish the wheel cases because it really needs to be finished today. Today, we're going to finish them. We promise. We promise because today will also be the last day of vlogging. Well, for this vlog. Can you really not hold the camera? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we've arrived at our working place and our shower tray just arrived. This is it. It's super lightweight. It's not the prettiest, but to be honest, to find a shower tray in the exact dimensions we wanted, this was our only choice. So this will be it. And this is gonna be the approximate location of where our shower tray will be. What do you think, eating mouse? Mm? Mm? Is that it? Mm? Yeah, good. Good? Mm? We'll probably just have to cut uh, a couple centimeters off of this because it's a little bit too wide for our tasting right now. Yeah. For our tasting, for our liking, mm. whatever. We're not gonna do that today. Yeah. That will be for another episode. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And we also got these USB, USB-C plugs because they are the future. Apparently they are. So I really wanted to install USB-C in our van because everything you buy nowadays is with USB-C. Yeah. So we had to search a long time to find this little thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we finally found it. Again, it's not the most beautiful looking thing, but Fine. it will have to do. I can't get enough. I'm always running like a madman, hitting like I'm Van Damme, breaking down the doors that are shut. So we just got the wood for the second wheel well. We're gonna try and put it together now. I don't know if you guys see it, but it looks a bit like a penis with one ball bigger than the other. I didn't even notice that. You didn't? No, I didn't. Bro, look at it. I know. Like a glove, my friend, like a glove. Okay, so the framing for the wheel cases is done, but now we need to attach plywood to it. And we don't have a machine to cut straight, so that's a bit of, well, not an issue, but it's just a bit of a struggle. So we're trying to find a solution for it, which we just watched on YouTube, so we're going to try that out. Hey, YouTube to the rescue. <laughs> like this video if you love YouTube. <laughs> okay, so we just cut our first piece, and it went really well. So actually what we did is, we measured the distance from the blade of our jigsaw until the side of our jigsaw and then we attached a piece of wood 3.4 centimeters away from where we wanted to cut like this and we just went along the line of the piece of wood and that resulted in a straight cut thank you youtube yeah. Okay, so our two wheel cases are almost done. On the left side, this side, we're not gonna close it up yet because we want to make a little storage space. On this side, however, Laura is going to cut the top part for that now, and then we're done. All right, guys, that's it. Our wheel case is completely done. Okay, it's time to go home. I feel we did a pretty good job this week with the wiring, with the wheel cases, the bulkhead. I feel, oh, Nicholas is tired. Babe, we did a good job this week. The days weren't always good. I mean, it has been a struggle oh, from time to time. Well. But we still hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next episode of our van conversion, what are we going to do? Put on this, put up on the ceiling Just and maybe a part of the subscribe, subscribe and you'll see. And you'll find out. See you guys. Thanks for watching. If you really like our videos, please subscribe. It would mean the world to us. And liking this video is also an option. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so guys much. for watching. Bye.